Good afternoon, everybody, champions, contenders. Welcome to the chart of the week of this week. Um, before we begin, let me uh, explain you a little bit what the chart of the week is about, in case you don't know. So, uh, chart of the week is a feature available for the contenders and the champion members. Uh, and the way that it works is that every week, depending on the market conditions, a naked chart will be posted, meaning there is no technical analysis done yet on the chart. You will be challenged to identify potential trade setup and your challenge to study the chart and try and identify the trade setup that I am aiming for. If you do this well, you're training your knowledge of TA tools while gaining confidence to also take the setup yourself and potentially make some money out of it. Every Wednesday, a video will be released where I will be going over the setup I've been eyeing and go over my own idea so you can compare your own analysis to that of mine and see if you've drawn out your levels correctly and done your technical analysis correctly. Let's move on to the actual chart of the week, which this week is ALGO. Positions. And that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to brew this over here. That is $3,000 made. I've just seen the likes. <laughs> Smash the likes. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's Contenders live stream. Where shall I begin? Four million. <laughs> 64 million <laughs> shorts are in this candle that we're coming down. Price always goes up and down that's a given uh where you know that's the nature of the market you are trying you here we go this is the first level to fit this retraced to a cc lining up with a speed fan 618 and the yearly level Hello everybody, I'm Coach Mike from Chart Champions and I'm bringing to you this week's Chart of the Week. Uh, this week is Algo, uh, an Algo BTC pair and um, here you can see that I posted a naked chart last week with the explanation of what is the intention of this, uh, this concept within the Contenders and Champions group. I post a chart and I was really pleased to see that a lot of people have been studying really hard, identifying trading setups, posting them, learning from each other, and uh, essentially making up for the great community that we have going on around here, uh, which is all about learning technical analysis uh, and ultimately uh, moving on towards actually trading that. And this concept obviously helps greatly with that. A lot of people contributing, posting their ideas, people commenting on the same thing, agreeing or maybe disagreeing, or maybe point out in uh, directions where, you know, uh, newer members can search for on what to study next. So all in all, really great, really interesting. And uh, yeah, uh, well done everybody who has been able to identify a trade setup. So now let's move on to what I was looking for on the chart. And what I was looking for is as follows. Multiple, multiple ideas going on here for me personally. Uh, one that is more a longer term trade and one that is, uh, and with longer term trade, I mean a couple months. So not necessarily hodling, but a uh, longer term trade. And then uh, this uh, current setup that I have laid out here for you is a swing trade setup, uh, meaning it could also take some time to actually play out. But mainly the basic thing that I have been looking at is if you look, if you take the entire chart, uh, we basically come off of a very, very strong downtrend and then we have ranged for quite a while, uh, giving us the following channel, which has been really, really well respected over time. Uh, I mean, we have been in this range for uh, basically a year which gives us a very, very good basis to start building from. So you can see also, even if I zoom out to the daily time frame, then you can see that the top of the channel is very well respected. One, two, three, four, five touches. Midline is really well respected. It's a very, very clear horizontal 
uh, resistance level and the bottom of the channel has also been very well respected and we have remained more or less in this channel with a couple of anomalies in and out of this particular channel uh, every now and then but ultimately coming back in and trading within the range um, we had an attempt of moving out to there and ultimately we transitioned into a very strong downtrend and uh, let me mute that for a second. There we go. Uh, ultimately, we moved back into the range, still well respected, and then we actually lost it. And then we've started to trade below this range, which makes uh, it very simple for me in the, in, in the way that I look at it. Uh, simply coming back into the previous range and then the old range comes back into play which is where my idea has been built around from uh, basically now how do you fine tune that a little bit further um, for that we have to go into a little bit of a lower time frame because you can also say if you do not have this range on you can also say we are currently trading within a range lower than the previous range essentially which gives us the following horizontals it gives us two monthly levels taken from all the way back here and then if we put our range on then you can clearly see that it really lines up really really nicely with the channel that is going on so there there's that is also the reason why price is now pretty much consolidating around because it is finding resistance um, the bottom of the range simply is uh, this monthly level below and basically uh, this range overall has been taken 103 days 104 days you can also subdivide this range once again and this is where the trade idea comes from so i am already in algo and i will tell you how and why but i'm also looking to add onto my existing position which is literally the trading idea that I have laid out for you but i'll elaborate on that a little bit further <coughs> because you can subdivide the larger range into a smaller range giving us the following consolidation area which could be classed as a potential bottoming pattern and it certainly at the moment does look like it we've gone sideways for a little bit and then we've simply broken out of the range hovered a little bit around it broke out again back tested it su successfully a showing demand made a rise in price and then we basically swing failure everybody stopping everybody out even the old swing failure pattern that was that has happened over here and then we have started to move back up into the monthly currently trying to break back into the old consolidation area this literally uh when i saw that I got in after the swing failure pattern basically we swing failure and i'm um, trading this more as an accumulation zone so it's a, a little bit of a different strategy than um than the trade i had in mind for the chart of the week but this setup uh is going to be my next trade that i'm going to take if the monthly is being reclaimed simply and we are currently now just grinding upwards to there and um, basically uh, trying to make our way back into the range as long as that did not happen just yet um, i'm going to wait i'm going to wait for this level to actually be uh, be, be broken and back tested as support and then i will enter the trade uh, giving me m uh, my stop loss based off of market structure which is then below the latest or the last two lows uh, essentially wherever that may be uh, so that is my idea on how i am going to trade this next um, you're probably also wondering why am i already in a trade well this is based off of a little bit of a different theory and this is a little bit more advanced a little bit more complex but i'll go over it quickly because you can also look at this range as a more or less as an accumulation range and that one looks a little bit like this so here you have your preliminary support meaning that selling uh, the, you know selling is starting to dry up right uh, that you can see here if you have the volume also on 
So it's preliminary support. Then you have uh, something similar to a uh, selling climax, giving you an automatic rally. And there you basically have your reference point for a potential bottoming pattern to form. You test the low, you swing failure that low, and you get back up above, right? And then you basically start, the demand is starting to show up and look at the shift in volume. This is a wick of accumulation uh, pattern and this is based on volume. It's extremely important to look at volume here. Now I have to admit, the volume profile does not match up exactly with what a wick of accumulation pattern describes. However, the price structure itself does match up really nicely. And ultimately you can see that the selling is drying up in terms of volume and then after you have you know, at least here temporarily bottomed out, suddenly a show of demand starts up. So you see a, you see a clear shift in uh, selling volume transitioning into buying volume. And that is for me um, a very, very early bullish sign. Now, then we've started to make our way up and then basically we dropped so far stopping everything out so even the early longs over here the early longs over here that traded this as a swing failure pattern also got stopped out this is what i class as a spring two ways you can look at it uh, you could look at it as a maybe as an inefficiency so there is still a potential for this inefficiency in this candle to get filled or alternatively this was the ultimate test for demand and now we are making our way back up seeing a, a sign of strength as on an increase in volume, uh, leaving out this particular wicks because of course when Bitcoin is doing its thing, then altcoins tend to get very volatile. Um, but I do class this as a sign of strength. So potentially what I envisioned when I was looking at this chart, I envisioned coming around this region, starting to consolidate, which is actually happening at the moment. And then ultimately get an injection in volume and basically getting back into the old range giving us the trade setup that i had in mind for the chart of the week now we have now discussed where the price come from uh where should uh where i'm going to look to enter where the stop loss is potentially going to be and you know where i'm going to place the stop loss is going to be based on market structure itself so this one is a little bit arbitrary it really highly depends on where the consolidation area is going to end now where am i going to aim for what, what where am i going to aim for to trade this to there's also some really nice confluence to be found in this range so if i open up my channel again basically you have the middle of the channel over here which serves as a take profit target for me, for sure, 100%. Uh, ultimately looking to trade it up simply to the high of the range, uh, giving me confluence with a monthly level and the global CC from high to low. The CC, so three points of technical confluence where there is uh, resistance coming up, giving me basically a trade worth more or less of 100%. Um, that is simply how I'm going to look to trade it. Uh, this is a very, very high target for me and something that, um, yeah, great trade. Uh, and this is potentially even conservative because if you do move out of like this uh, accumulation area, then uh, it's highly likely that, uh, yeah, you, you might actually get even higher returns. However, I'm simply going to trade the charts and this these are the technical levels that I'm looking at. Um, so entry here, take profit in the middle of the channel, then trading it up to this monthly, uh, potentially close out of the trade, depending on how we get there, flip this level, then simply the next weekly comes into play, flip that level, then simply the next level comes into play. So in that way, this allows me to not uh, basically enter into a trade without a plan, uh, not having any idea of where I'm going to take profit or basically holding potentially a really, really nice trade all the way up only to see it come back down and you know basically turning it into a break even trade or even potentially into a loss so i want to emphasize also with this video that the plan is 
basically key. The plan uh, takes a lot of work, a lot of time and effort to be put in to build this plan. And then um, you simply have to execute it. And this is um, what I envision. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now you can compare this to your own chart uh, if you have mapped out your levels correctly. And uh, I hope you have learned something more, most importantly. And if you are taking the trade, I wish you a lot of good luck with the trade and managing it as well. So all I would say, hope you have enjoyed. Wish you a very great day and trade safe. Cheers. Bye bye.